feeding frenzy in Costa Rica has turned into an all-out battleground. And for four species that call this region home, the fight is life or death. My name is Philippe D'Andrade, and I'm a National Geographic wildlife filmmaker. It looks like one of the alpha males and then a juvenile male. My passion for animals has taken me across the world and given me a deep appreciation for this earth. For season two of Untamed, we'll be exploring one of the most biologically diverse countries in the world, Costa Rica. The Telamanca mountain range is home to four of the most extraordinary species of hummingbirds in all of Costa Rica. The fiery-throated, volcano, lesser violet ear, and the Telamanca hummingbird. Because they make their home at an elevation of 9,000 feet, nectar-rich flowers are more difficult to come by. And that means these tiny birds live in a constant feeding frenzy. But in all this fighting over food, they're actually benefiting the world around them. These little birds have a much larger impact than people realize. Over 75% of the world's flowers rely on birds, insects, and bats for pollination. And in a single day, this four-inch pollinator could visit up to 2,000 flowers while feeding. It's the rainy season here in Costa Rica, and this young Telamanca female is trying to load up on as many nutrients as she can. When the weather drops, finding nectar-rich flowers in bloom won't be so easy, and she'll have to rely on her own reserves to keep her in flight. This larger male isn't quite ready to give up this valuable resource to a rival bird. Her efforts have also drawn in the attention of males outside of her species turning a difficult task into a nearly impossible one. Fiery-throated hummingbirds aren't just named for their vibrant colors, but likely their feisty spirit as well. They fight this way because they need to consume around their body weight and nectar every day. In a clash of brilliant colors and armed with sword-like bills, hummingbird fights are stunning, adrenaline-fueled battles. Constantly on the brink of starvation, she struggles to sip even a single drop of nectar. But if she is going to live another day, she cannot allow a male to dominate this precious food source and decide her fate. The survival of this species depends on fierce females who will live on to attract a mate and carry on their line. <laughs> 